I'm Matt Spurlock with Noria Corporation. I'm here today to talk to you about ferrous density and use oil analysis. In general, we have two primary types of testing for ferrous density. The first type is direct reading ferrography, and the second type is particle quantifier. Direct reading ferrography measures the density of ferromagnetic wear particles in an oil. The way this works is by running the sample through a precipitator tube over a high-powered magnet. The large wear particles are, are more quickly attracted to the magnet, thereby they get pulled out at, at one end of the slide, and the smaller particles get, get pulled out and, and gathered at the exit end of the slide. Light is then transmitted through the sample with photo detectors on the instrument measuring the amount of light passing through that sample. The results we get from direct reading ferrography are ferrous large, which are those particles greater than five microns in size, and ferrous small, which are those particles less than five microns in size. One of the primary advantages in using direct reading ferrography is the amount of information that we can calculate simply by utilizing these two measurements, ferrous large and ferrous small. The first possible calculation and the most widely used is wear particle concentration, or WPC. And this is calculated by taking the ferrous large value plus the ferrous small value and dividing that total by the sample volume. That gives you the wear particle concentration. The second piece of information we can calculate is called the percent large particles, or PLP. And this calculation takes the absolute value of ferrous large minus ferrous small divided by ferrous large plus ferrous small multiply that value by 100 to get the percent large particles. The third piece of information we can derive through calculations is the wear severity index, or WSI. WSI is calculated by taking the sum of ferrous large and ferrous small multiplied by the difference of ferrous large and ferrous small. Again, that gives you the wear severity index. And then we have particle quantifier or the PQ index. The PQ index, like DR ferrography, is a dimensionless number, but that's where the similarities end. DR ferrography gives us two dimensionless numbers, ferrous large and ferrous small. PQ index gives us one single index value. That index value may be one digit, maybe two digits, maybe three digits, but it's just a single number. The PQ index does not differentiate between large or small particles. It doesn't worry about morphology of the particles. It's just measuring the actual uh, density of ferrous material in the oil sample. Uh, an advantage with PQ index is the fact that there is virtually no sample prep reducing any potential for uh, lab technician error. The way PQ index does work is there are two magnets. One is a reference magnet, the other is a measurement magnet. On top of the measurement magnet, we place the oil sample. As the uh, ferrous debris in that sample uh, is, it begins to, to settle out or begins to react with that magnetic field uh, 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 that's already stabilized between the reference and the uh, uh, measurement magnet, that ferrous debris or those ferrous particles will disrupt that magnetic field, uh, basically creating a, an induction effect. Now that disturbance of that balance between those two magnets is then specified as the PQ index. And that's really it. It's a very, very trendable, very easy number to take care of. <clears throat> so again, with DR ferrography, we have more calculated data, but with more calculated data also comes the potential for sample prep er error. Because of the uh, uh, laboratory dealing with that's required for DR ferrography, there's a hazardous waste disposal, which all in all uh, makes DR ferrography a much more expensive test. PQ index, on the other hand, is very quick, very inexpensive, very, very trendable data, very repeatable, very reproducible, 
uh, uh, with, with virtually zero sample prep, very little potential for technician error. In summary, ferrous density should be considered a primary test for all machines where ferrous wear material is to be expected. Correlating this ferrous density data along with other oil analysis test information will give us a very, very wide picture and a very solid understanding of the internal condition of our machines. You can learn a whole lot more about lubricant testing and how to develop a world-class oil analysis strategy in Nori's oil analysis training courses. For more information, just go to noria.com. Thanks for watching.